Well, it's morning of the third day of this little project, and while it is no, by no means perfect arc, I think I'm done with it. Too much bending, and I'm just tired of it, trying to get it to match perfectly. It's going to serve the purpose, I believe. And the two little cutoff pieces from the end of the base plate are now going to be used to stand off bolts for the handles. And I'm going to thread a wood handle in. Not quite sure how I'm going to finish that off, but you get the core concept. It's too pretty a day outside. Took the dog out, top down. Went up to the airport, pick up a box of this. Ceramic fiber insulation, which I happen to have. I'm going to stuff it down the inside of the base. I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom of the base to make sure that I can escape air when I weld these two pieces. I'm not sure whether I should tack weld these two pieces in first or trim them off and then just live with it. I think it's going to be tack welded in first then trim it off with a, with a I don't know, with something. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of that. Welcome back. That little hole in the bottom is not for draining liquid. It is more for allowing air to escape when I weld over the ends of this um, so that the weld doesn't blow out while I'm doing it. Well, an executive decision has been made about cutting this before or after the fact, and it's going to be before. Well, today is the day that NASA attempts to launch from Cape Canaveral. And I am going to, I believe, just put it to an end right about now. And see if I can't watch man go into space. Right, well, we're going to see if we can put some ceramic fiber insulation into the base plate here. Right, well it's stuffed full of ceramic fiber insulation. Well, they scrubbed the launch due to the weather, sadly. I think I'm going to use this fairly violent saw to go and do the quick version of shortening this up a hair. I made a mistake early on in the bending that I can't get out. And let's 
driving me crazy, but I can't do anything about it. Well, here's the deal. It's fun, but I'm the world's crappiest welder. To all intents and purposes, this is ready to rock. So if I can just get it onto the table. Well, theoretically, I'm just going to put a tack or two on just to fasten it down for a second. Okay, well, for all intents and purposes, it's fine. I think we'll turn it over and tack the other side. What the heck, let's just try and finish the insides. patch up that hole. Right, well the object of the exercise here is not to finish grind this but just to grind off the stick out on the ends and the tacks that are holding that together but it's welded on the inside and the side so it'll all hold together. Well, I keep saying this, but I think that's the end of this day. So, at the end of the day, how did we do other than this kinky bend? A little bit torqued and twisted, but not so brutal as to be unacceptable. And really pretty good. I'm happy with that.